Now, hey guys, and welcome back to another YouTube video. Now, today we're going to be showing you my built Concord. Yes, I've worked very, very hard on this. So, so yeah, let's just get started in the video. Yeah, some people are probably going to be jealous, which might be you. But, by the way, let's load this Concord in. So, time for a tour of the Concorde. Now, first of all, if you want to know the instructions for this complex machine, machinery, you've got to head to here. Here's some of the instructions. Let's head to the well, passenger menu first. Yep, I've worked really hard on this, so don't dislike it. Uh, but yeah, you're probably gonna be jealous. So passenger menu, economy and class for a normal sort of regular meal. Yeah, that just makes sense by its own. Business class for luxury seat and a table with luxury food. Well, that sounds like a good thing. So yeah, first class, uh, luxury seats, best meals, um, best meals, lots of leg room. Yeah. Now let's get to the well controls of this thing. If you want, if you are the captain, and I'm the captain of this thing, so so take control of it. So a one two three four one two three four four engines W A S D to move. That's probably to like you the plane, you know. The door and doors are B and emergency. A light C evacuation. There's a yellow lever and a ram in. A turbine red lever. Let's head to the startup. That's also the classics here. Startup. Two black levers switched. Battery. Fuel pumps on. Engine shot on. Engine master on. External power on. Emergency test. Hydraulic pump on. A passing. Okay, we've already read that. Flight attendant menu. Cook meals for passengers in the first class and business class goes first. Help passengers evacuate, safety demonstration, and first aid kit. The captain menu, cockpit access, take control of the aircraft, fly safely, land a plane, and crash the plane if it's necessary. We're going to try to crash the plane later on in the video, guys. The first officer menu, pilot monitoring, set up the autopilot, and cockpit access. Yeah, also it says here, cockpit access. And the engineer menu is start up the plane and get the emergency stuff ready, put down the ram air turbine. And then we're gonna read the features of this thing. This thing features a lot of things, like, for example, a droop suit. <sighs> An af. Okay, let me just try it again. Uh, yeah. So. So features droop snoot, afterburners, ram air turbine, emergency stuff, ditching, PA, uh, engine fire extinguisher, animated engines and afterburners, ooh, a uh, yoke, rudder pedals, instruments, electricity and crash animations yeah i'm not joking i'm not kidding this thing has crash animations uh, later on in the video uh we're gonna check out the crash animations but what's but watch until the end guys all right now the exterior of this thing i it's pretty good i do like the exterior now let's head to the interior yeah i do like the interior and let's start off with the flight attendance area. Pretty good area. Uh, it has some jump seats here. You can cook meals for passengers. There's some equipment there. And in the economy class. Yeah, I don't really rate uh, the economy class this good. But, but it does make sense. The economy class. It even says which class you're in. And then business class. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this one looks very, very, very good. Uh, and then we've got first class here. It's also very, very, very good. 
Uh, yeah. Now, now say goodbye to the stair truck here. And the stair truck's now. Stair truck's now gone. And let's start up this thing. So, yeah, this is a Concorde, so it does make sense that it looks complex. But we'll get there, guys. We'll get there. First of all, we've got to start off with the battery. We've got standby power there as well. Let's turn it on. And let's get those instruments running. Yes. All right. Have to get the hydraulic pumps on. Get the engine masters on. Get the fuel pumps on. Yes. Right. Get. Uh, Get the afterburners going, yes. and get these going, and yeah, this thing is already started up. And now let's get rid of that external power, we don't need it anymore, and well, let's fly. Now, now in order to fly this thing, I've got to unanchor this thing for you, and yeah, your boy. Is here. Oh, I almost crashed this thing. I crashed it into the menu and stuff, but that's another story. That's fine. And look, this thing flies perfectly. Now, yes, this thing it does look pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I do like it. Uh, now. Now let's head to the PA, so we must enable uh, PA mode instead of air traffic control. And then we can, well, send out a message to the passenger. Well, for now, let's just turn this off. Let's just turn this feature off. And the droop snoot. What about the droop snoot? Is that a levers for there, but I'm not. Uh, but then we won't be able to see out the plate, so no. And then animated engines and afterburners. Yup, they're at, they're all animated. These things are animated. Now let's head to the ditching of this thing. We're not in the crash animations yet, but but let's try the, the ditching. Well, before we do the ditching of this thing, let's try landing this. So what team am I in again? Okay, I'm in blue team. So that makes sense. Uh, let's just. Oh, ooh, ooh. Uh, so let's just lower the speed here. Yes. Now let's come in for a landing here. Let's do a turn here. Sharp turn. Now let's descend there. And then, yes. Alright, that was a pretty smooth landing. That was a pretty smooth landing for me. And, well, we've done it here. Let's try the, the ditching of this thing now. Let's try the ditching. So let's just. Let's speed going. Yes. Let's try out the ditching of this thing. What about the ditching? First of all, we've got to slow down for it. Yeah, you always need to slow down. We're gonna go at 25 knots here. Not too fast or anything. Let's just put ourselves down. Okay. Let's just do some sharp turns here. That will probably make us lose some altitude. But without wasting our time, Let's just get this to the descender. Oh wait, we've reached some altitude. And yes, turn, 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 turn. Okay. Let's get a rammer turbine. Okay. There's no rammer turbine available right now. Uh, 
Uh, do you know what? That's not the smoothest landing to go in this thing. But yes. Let's actually activate ditching mode. Uh, I don't know if the Conquer features a ditching mode. But yes. And now. Uh, oh. Now my friends have seen. Now my friends have seen how detailed this thing is. And, and my friends were just amazed by it. Um. Uh, well, let's head back to the Concord here. So, yeah, this this thing this thing for me is also known as an evacuation plane. And well, let's test out the emergency equipment. So we've already tried out uh, the ditching emergency equipment. Let's try out the ELT. That literally works. Let's try out the. Yep, this is basically an evacuation sign. Okay, let's turn this off. Let's try. Yeah, I think that's all the emergency equi equipment I have, but I will add some more. And then this also it is emergency equipment, standby power, and yes. And this thing is the Ram Air Turbine. We can't really test it on the ground because it does not work in the ground at all. <laughs> uh, oh, let's get this thing started up quickly here. Okay, external power on. Let's get the instruments running. Let's get the hydraulic pump on. Let's get the fuel pumps on. You guys know how we do it. We know how we do it, guys. And also, this is also meant for the door as well. Hmm, that's an ice. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, and now, let's get those engines started, starting to run. Yes. Anyway, those engines are now started, so it's now time to turn off that. So I'll turn off that. And it's time to actually fly this plane. Let's first fall an anchor this. And yes. This thing flies. Now. And now. Uh, now, would I be able to fly this to the end? Well, yeah, this thing can go to the end. I've actually not tested it going to the end yet, but it can go to the end definitely. Yeah, like, well, like every single plane can go to the end pretty much. Even a Cessna, I think. Um, uh, yeah. Well, what about crash animations? Yes, I saved it for the end of the video here. The crash animations. Now, before we get to the crash animations, I I also made the rudder of this thing. Yeah, I made it properly, and then I put in the delta wings. Now, anyway, let's anyway let's crash up. Let's crash this plane here. Now, now yeah, let's try out one method, and that is. You see how deadly that looks? Yeah, see this thing has crash animations. Not there are crash animations for this thing. Uh, well, there's also a water crash animation. Well, what about that? We've already ditched this thing, but we've not made it hard enough to just, to just like, you know, destroy this entire plane and make it sink very easily. And yes, let's try that. So, yeah. 
what so now let's just deliberately do this yeah first of all you would have to lower your speed and stuff oh oh yeah the fuselage can't even handle it and the plane just sinks good yep the entire plane is gone this entire plane gone Yeah, I know, right? This entire plane literally sunk. <laughs> or did it? Good! Now, now let's just... Now let me make sure that we've got every single feature done. Make sure I got every single feature done. Yeah. Run a turbine. Yeah, we've not really tried that yet, but uh, but yeah, that's pretty much enough for the video, and that's to guys to gonna wrap up the video. Now, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to, to press the like button and subscribe. And and plus, if we are lucky enough, I'll, I'll get a tutorial on how to build this thing. And, yeah. Now, now I hope you enjoyed the video. And goodbye. Goodbye. And bye.